How's it going guys, Rex with T-Rex Legs. I got an inspiration from Double D's, Don. Thank you, brother. About putting together a little build video. So this one today, this is by far my go-to frame. It's an Aries that is designed by Chuck and Steel. And this specific frame was made for me as a gift from Dan Layton of Layton Straws and Caddies. And I gotta give props to Dan. This is my go-to frame. And I put together a little slideshow. I'm not gonna narrate it because I'm not that good at this. But these give me an inspiration to where I, I want to show you guys the process I go through. And by no means am I any type of a builder. Um, I started doing this to make gifts for people that has sent me things and gave me things. And I want to give back to the community. So I wanted to start making frames and giving them to people that they may not have the money or uh, they, they seem really interested in it, but there's a lot to it other than just a frame. Uh, there's bands, there's the band jig to tie the pouch. There's, you know, there's a lot to learn. So I started making frames and making them into tube shooters with a wave attachment. And I gave a buddy of mine up the street, uh, I gave him one, I made an Aries frame made a tube shooter and banded it up for him, gave him a handful of clay and I'm like, here you go. He, uh, he's always seemed really interested in slingshots, uh, watches my videos and I just want to give back to the community and try to get more people into this. So I put together this little slideshow of a build of an Aries. Now, what I did is I bought a core from uh, OmegaSlingsUSA.com. They have anything and everything you can possibly need to get into this hobby, which by the turnouts of the tournaments, it's becoming a sport. But I got an Aries core and I made it into a slingshot. And you can do all of this yourself as well. Uh, you can, I call it, I have an idea. And what works for some people may not work for others. Uh, whenever I was at ECSTs, uh, a gentleman by the name of Ethan Martin, everybody knows him as Tennessee Slinging on YouTube, he actually taught me how to shoot a pickle fork. And since then, I realized that it's not as scary as it seems. It's just a different style of shooting. And you got to make your mind work and think about how you're shooting. Because if not, you're going to blow the end of the slingshot out or you're going to hit your thumb or your hand. So there's a little bit of safety involved. That's the reason why I never tried it. I was always scared of it. But I come up with my own design. I mean, it's a fork. But, you know, I call it my design because it's what fits my hand. And I went through probably two or three builds that I've done to get it the way I like it. So once you get your idea, you can put it down on paper. Uh, just simple, make you a straight line vertically, make a straight line horizontally, and then go from there. And I come up with this. This is the template that I made that I make more from. And this is my pickle fork. Now on my original one that I come up with, I called it the TRX. This one I call the TRX PFS. And I come up with that one uh, just by shooting. As you get into the hobby, you're going, you're, you'll buy frames. Uh, it's a rabbit hole, you're going to buy frames. And Shooting different frames and different style of frames, I come up with one that I kind of like. It, it fits me. And if you ever decide to build one, you can grind on it. You can change it. 
And if it gets to where you don't like it, you throw it in the trash and make another one. I use them as fire starters. They make real good fire starters. But I come up with my latest one that I've done and I made a template for so I could reproduce it is this one. And the little video that I, I'm going to put together is basically a slideshow showing each little step that I take. And if you guys have any, um, any questions, you know, leave them in the comments, you know, uh, like I've always invited anybody hit me up on YouTube, uh, give me a like, share and subscribe. You can make comments there or you can hit me up on Facebook. Uh, more than willing to help anybody who wants to get into shooting slingshots. Um, I've recently got into building them. Uh, <laughs> my quality is nowhere near where it needs to be, but um, I think they're, it's the early stage of me making slingshots. And I, I give them as gifts, and I want to make them as a gift for people that's helped me along. And so with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little, little slideshow. I hope it will make you want to try to make one. You know, you can always go out and cut a tree for it, get it to the right, uh, the distance, uh, tip to tip, whether it be 90 millimeter, 85. I mean, who knows? It's, it's all on you as a shooter to find out what works for you. What works for me may not work for somebody else. Um, you know, the designs that people come up with, some of them are crazy. So don't, you know, don't limit yourself to making somebody else's exact frame. Uh, the shape of the frame may be the same, but you may make it thicker or thinner. You may grind on it in a specific way to fit your hand. But by all means, just give it a try. It's a fantastic hobby with a community that is like no other. I mean, you can see in the background, I've got RC cars up there. I've got quad quadcopters I used to race with PF or uh, first person view. I mean, the communities out there do not do justice to the brotherhood that slingshots provide for me. Like I said, this is only an opinion. Every guy and gal that I've met at a tournament has always welcomed me with open arms. They've always just seemed like somebody, you walk up to them and you say hi and you've known them for years. It's, it's crazy that, you know, people can get together and have that much fun and, uh, well, enough of that. You guys, if you enjoy the slideshow, uh, just please, you know, leave me a comment. Uh, you know, share it with your friends. Tell them about it. Say, look at this. Here's an old stupid hillbilly who is making slingshots and is having a blast with them. But go out and make something. Buy a slingshot. Learn the hobby. Go to a tournament. If you're, um, if you don't think you can shoot good enough to go to a tournament, don't worry about it. Just go and have fun. You can show up at a tournament and just hang around and talk with people and learn from them. It's really an awesome hobby. Um, Hocking Hills, coming up on the twentieth, will be the second time, and basically. It's my one year anniversary of being a slingshot shooter. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope it's informative. And I just hope it will inspire you to get into this hobby, whether you just wanna be able to shoot a can at 20 feet, or if you wanna get into the precision shooting, like, you know, Chuck and Steel and Tease is phenomenal. Uh, Zach Slingshots, Tennessee Slang. Um, these guys are precise. They're able to repeat the precision to be able to win tournaments. And anybody can do it if you're willing to put in the time. 
and by all means, just start string up a can, see how many shots it takes to cut it in half. It really and truly is a good hobby. Yep, on to the slideshow. Peace. All right, guys, this is what I come up with. Just quarter inch oak, simple cut it out, shape it, glue it together, turn it into a slingshot. Wrap and tuck, my abilities as a builder is nowhere near where it has to be for clips, so wrap and tuck is all you get. I hope you guys enjoyed the slideshow and I hope it inspires you to make a slingshot. Peace out, guys.